So now you have your music bingo card, but it is blank. So you are going to have to make your music bingo card. First thing you're going to do is you are going to put a free spot on your bingo card. Find the S column and you're going to go one, two, and then you'll get to the free spot and you write free. Once again, that's one, two, free. Then, using the notes that you will see on the board in a moment, you are going to add those to your bingo card. Now, this is my recommendation. Take one of the notes. I would, whatever one you want, don't do anything yet because I don't want anybody to have the same exact bingo card like I have. So you pick a note. In this instance, let's take the half note. You're going to put it in the M column. Then you're going to take the half note, put it in the U column, S column, I column, and C column. Notice they can go anywhere you want on the bingo card. Then you're going to find another note. In this case, we'll take the eighth note. And you put the eighth note in the M column, the U column, the S column, the I column, and then the C column. You keep going until your bingo card is filled. Now remember, you cannot put the same note in the same column. So once you put a note, uh, like for instance, let's say you, you put the eighth note in the M column, you cannot put the another M, uh, eighth note in the M column. That just wouldn't be fair. Then, your teacher will spin the wheel and up will come one of the notes for music bingo. My recommendation is that when you, if, if for instance, it, she calls M half note, you put a diagonal line for the first round so that when we do the second round, you can then make an X so that you know which notes were called for the first round and which notes were called for the second round so that you can use the same bingo card. 